This video shows you how to import a GBXML file into CHVAC. Green Building XML or GBXML is a file format that makes it easy to transfer building information from CAD drawing software to engineering analysis software. CHVAC can import data from a GBXML file that was created by a CAD program and then export some of the calculation results to a new GBXML file which can then be imported back into the same CAD program. We want to create a new project from a GBXML file, so click the File menu and then click New Project from GBXML File. Click New Project from GBXML File. In order to fill out the project with some needed information that will not be in the GBXML file, let's copy some default data from one of our existing projects. Click Browse. For this example, we want to select the sample CHVAC8 project for our defaults. Click the Next button. Let's leave all of these boxes checked in order to import each kind of data listed. Note that the default data will be imported first and then the GBXML data will be imported second. So any information in these defaults that happens to also be available in the GBXML file will be overwritten by the GBXML data. Click Next. Most of the files in this folder were downloaded from the github.com website. The file we want is named Exercise Facility Older.xml. Click Next. At this point, we can set various options about what we want to happen during the import. There are two main branches in this tree outline. The first is CHVAC defaults. The second main branch, GBXML, represents the data in the GBXML file. Under CHVAC defaults, you can set defaults for the master data items that will be created during the import. It's good to set these defaults since most GBXML files don't contain enough data to be able to let CHVAC fully define any particular roof, wall, or glass. When you click on a node in the tree on the left, the grid on the right shows you the properties that are available for that node. As you can see, these properties for the master data items each include the same drop-down help windows that you are accustomed to using. Now let's look at the nodes that are available for the GBXML file. GBXML files are organized like this, campus, building, zone, and space. In CHVAC, the arrangement is a little different, building, air handler, zone, or VAV box, and room. A space in the GBXML file is equivalent to a room in CHVAC. A zone in the GBXML file is equivalent to either a CHVAC air handler or a CHVAC zone or VAV box. So when you select a GBXML zone node in the tree, you can set both the CHVAC air handler number and the CHVAC zone number. At every level there is an include property, which will tell CHVAC whether or not to include that particular item and those underneath it in the import process. When you click the plus sign to the left of a space node, you can see all of the surfaces in that space that are available for importing. You can tell at a glance which items in the tree have their include property set to true because their font is bold. Some surface nodes have a plus sign to the left of them, meaning that they contain openings. Openings include things like windows, doors, and skylights. The Include button lets you instantly set the Include property for external surfaces under the current node to either be true or false. To illustrate its use, we'll first exclude the surfaces under this space node, then we'll include them again. Notice that after clicking Exclude, all of the surface nodes in the space are in non-bold font. And now the external surface nodes are back to being included and in bold font. The Find button lets you search the tree for any text you want. 
let's search for the term warehouse. As you can see, the warehouse zone node is set to import into CHAC air handler number 3. And we can see that the space node underneath it has a zero for the override value, meaning that the space will go into whichever air handler its parent zone node is set to. Let's use the set air handler number button to change the warehouse zone to go into air handler 2 along with the office zone. We could simply set the property in the grid to make that happen, but doing it this way lets us see this feature. This window lets you quickly change the default air handler number assigned to the various GBXML zone nodes to a different value. Simply check the box for the zone nodes you want to change, then enter a new number at the bottom and click Perform Change. Now let's change the Warehouse Zone node to go into CHVAC Air Handler 2 instead of 3. Click Next. On this page, we can optionally set the folder and file name for the new CHVAC project we're creating. Click Next. The final page of this dialog gives us a summary of the things we chose on the previous pages. Click the Finish button. The new project will then be created and the data from the GBXML file will be imported into it. Let's right click on our new project in the Project Explorer window and select to expand all of its nodes. Let's take a look at Air Handler 1. We can see that Air Handler 1 already has the heating and cooling coil temperature data needed by the calculations. For Air Handler 2, we can see that the leaving coil conditions have not been filled in, so let's enter some typical values. Now let's take a look at the room data. Let's take a brief look at each room. We will see that the rooms have materials filled in, lighting watts, equipment watts, etc. All of this information was imported from the GBXML file. Now let's take a look at the calculated results on the load preview window. Now let's export some calculated results. Click the File menu. Click Export. Click To GBXML File. Click Export. Click OK, then we'll take a look at the exported file. Here's the file we just exported. Notice that the words exported from CHVAC have been added to the name. We've now opened the exported file in the XML Notepad program. Now let's scroll down to the Document History node, which is the first node that CHVAC created. We can see here that the company name, program name, and version number have been assigned. Here's the total supply-side heating load for Air Handler 1. And here's a node that shows the room supply air for our last room, the warehouse. Thanks for watching.